Genesis 41, verse 37. Joseph's rise to power. So the advice was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said to his servants, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom is the Spirit of God? Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, there is no one as discerning and wise as you. You shall be over my house, and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Then the Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand. And he clothed Joseph in garments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. And he had Joseph ride in the second chariot, which he had, and they cried out before him, Bow the knee. So the Pharaoh said, Joseph, over all the land of Egypt. Pharaoh also said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without your consent no man may lift his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnath, Hynia. He gave him as a wife, Saneth, the daughter of Potipharah, priest of On. So Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. Now in the seven plentiful years, the ground brought forth abundantly. So he gathered gathered up all the food of the seven years which were in the land of Egypt, and laid up the food in the cities. He laid up in every city the food of the fields which surrounded them. Joseph gathered very much grain as the sand of the sea until he stopped counting, for it was immeasurable. And to Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came, whom Asanath, the daughter of Potiphar, a priest of On, bore to him. Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For God has made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second he called Ephraim. For God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Then the seven years of plenty which were in the land of Egypt ended. And the seven years of famine began to come, as Joseph had said. Famine was in all lands, but in all the land of Egypt there was bread. So when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. And Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph, whatever he says to you, do. Famine was over all the face of the earth, and Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians. And the famine became severe in the land of Egypt. So all the countries came to Joseph in Egypt to buy grain, because the famine was severe in all lands.